Welcome to another edition of Talk the Talk, Rio Grande Valley Stars, Season 4. I'm your host, Alex Arabi. My co-host, Isaac Medina, couldn't be here with us today, but I have a guest co-host, the actor and model, Antonio Villarreal. Pleasure. Tony, thank you for being here with us. Uh, can you tell our viewers a little bit about you and maybe how they can find you on social media? Uh, hello guys, my name is Antonio Villarreal. You can find me on Instagram at Antonio Villarreal underscore official. Uh, you can like and follow my Facebook page at Antonio Tony Villarreal. And stay tuned, uh, there's going to be other ways and methods you can contact me. So. Okay. And you saw that information here on the screen. Uh, actor and model, and he was actually our very first guest. 10 yeah. months ago for the first season. Remember that time? That was it. Now, that was now we're on season four. Oh, wow, that's insane. And thank you for coming back this time as a guest co host. Thank okay, you. and now it's time to welcome our guest for today, Jason. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Por estar con nosotros. It's been a while that we've been in contact, and now finally. Finally, we get to be in person. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. And we're very proud of you and how you represent the Valley. Uh, everything you do, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for all the inviting to your show. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, tell us a little bit more about you. Maybe like what city you're from, how did you get started in this business, anything you want to share? Well, my name is JC and I am a singer songwriter. I am here from the Valley, from Macallan, and I am currently promoting what is my third album. Uh, and uh, like I said, mostly uh, I consider myself a songwriter because all the songs except for the last one. This was a collaboration. Was a, all the ones have been written by me, so that's something that's very important to me. Wow, multi talented. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been in this business? Professionally, about six years. Six about years. six years since the release of my first album. This is my third, and I'm very happy, very happy with the, with the success and how we've been evolving mm -hmm. with, with the, our music and the production. And this is some, it's something that you wanted to do since you were a child, or when this dream became? I've always loved music. In my house music was something that was always present in my, in my family. I loved classical music, so I grew up with a lot of classical music. I actually studied music in college. I played the cello. And um, music has just always been something that is a passion of mine. And when I got a chance to actually create music, that's when I knew that this is what I wanted to do. What's, uh, what led you to start creating music? Like, what was that thing that inspired you, that woke you up to say, you know what, I'm going to write my first song? Was this the path I want to take. Uh... Well, I've always been inspired by great songwriters. I grew up with a lot of the music that my mother listened to, like Beatles. Oh, you know, yes. if you like Beatles, you know that they wrote all their songs, and there was a, it was a constant flow of evolution, creativity. Every song was different. So that was something that always interested me. And, and when I finally sat down with the guitar and the piano, I had that that urge to let's see what I can create. Let's see if I can emulate something or maybe pull some inspiration and create my own music. So, I that so old school, yeah. the Beatles were like role models to you. Yes, definitely. Who, who, who else were role models? You know, I like I like the old school uh, in Spanish, for example. You know, the the Just Disease, great Príncipe de la Canción, José José, <laughs> and his his sort of his songwriter throughout his career, Rafael Pérez Botija, Manuel Alejandro, uh, Luis Miguel is also as a, as an interpreter, a big role model to me, and Armando Manzanero. Mm -hmm. So that was. Uh, Hispanic or Latin songwriters, as well as English Beatles, Bee Gees, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yes, definitely. Now you're talking. Yeah. So you've always had that gift, huh? That gift, like, within you to be able to play an instrument. Because I know a lot of people are like, let me take some classes, and it's like, they don't got it, you know? It's not in them. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, you have to have, have, to have it. Like, Actually, in the I've sense. met both kinds. I know a lot of good musicians that have never taken any classes, and they can, I, they can play everything. And I also know on the on the school side a lot of professors of mine that are very studied here. So I know both and one thing that I've learned is that talent doesn't discriminate between that. Definitely. You can study or not and if you have the talent for music, I've seen it both sides. So it's, it's something that is very interesting to watch. The, the difference in people and personality and how talent still flourishes regardless. Definitely. And I think uh, the dedication, the charisma, the connection. Right? You gotta have a love. Invest a lot of time into it. Yes. And uh, what do you think has been your biggest achievement so far, and the biggest obstacle in your career? Well, the biggest achievement, I would, I guess, my latest release this year. I had a goal, which was to release music and be able to submit it to the Latin Grammy. I, I'm a member. I've been a member of the Latin Grammy uh, as an active member, so I vote for the music that is submitted. And this year, I wanted to submit my own music. 
and that was our goal. And you know, we we got together with some very well-known Latin Grammy winner producers and songwriters, and we put together a project in a relatively short period of time. So we had the Grammys have a window to submit. So we, we got it done, we submitted it, and we did not get nominated, but it was important to, to be in that battle. Get that first step and get your feet wet, that way people can know you and know your name. Exactly, right. get in that battle at least for the first time, it, it's a process. You know, yeah. you, and even then, like that's a feat in itself, like for you to be able to submit your work to the Grammys, like that's some, not somebody that anybody can, that, that's not something that anybody can just say, you know? It, it does take a while, it, it's a process and you have to follow certain guidelines and rules and they are strict about the material and who submits it and who, who also worked on it. So that was, I guess, my biggest accomplishment so far. And the biggest obstacle, um, this career requires a lot of patience. A lot of patience. You have to be very dedicated, very patient, never give up, and constantly be on the lookout to evolve. Like what's what's the music that is working right now? And make sure that you stay up to date with with what the audience. Because the audience, the audience is the one that controls. Yeah. The music. So you have to be very patient. Very Has the social media been an important uh, ally to get your name known? To get followers. Social media is a great tool. Uh, I'm relatively new to it in a way because I, like I said, I am a bit old school. Mm -hmm. But I've been working with some people that are that are more knowledgeable on social media, and they brought me into that world. But yeah. it's a, it's a great tool because you can reach the whole world basically. You, know, you you have the access to the entire world, and it's like you know you have to grow it. You have to show your followers and people that, that look at your content that you're creating stuff so that they can follow you back. Exactly. How can our viewers find you on social media? They can find me on Instagram, Yeisi Musica, Y-E-I-S-I -S Musica. Facebook, Yeisi Oficial, and all my videos, as well as the latest one, is on my YouTube channel, Yeisi Musica as well. And all the music, all three albums are available on all the digital platforms, Spotify, Pandora, you can Shazam it, it's on iTunes. And the latest single is playing on the radio here, 90.9, you can hear it there every day. So what what's the name of the single? Se me olvido. You don't remember? Uh, <laughs> I always get that. No, no, no. We <laughs> gotta stop that, no. That's the actual name of the Se me olvido, yeah. <laughs> But it's been a good running joke. Everybody didn't realize that it, it sounds so... What's the name? Yeah. I forgot. Same little bit. I like the title though. It gives it, it gives it like an in, like an interest. Like yeah, interest. yeah. Apenas que digas el nombre es se me olvidó. Título de la canción es se me olvidó. Pudieras cantar un pedacito. Claro, dice. Se me olvidó esa noche la nota se me subió y no recuerdo cuáles todas me besó. No sé cuántas pasaron por mi habitación. Wow. Check it out and maybe we can even put a clip at the end of yes. this interview. Yeah, yeah. 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 you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Angelina was one of the models we yeah, had. Yeah, she's she's been on the show. Right? Yeah. She was a great sport and she was, I mean, she was a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. She did a great job and she showcases all her beauty in that video. Trust me. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tom. Well, guys, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Well, oh, that was the next you. question. <laughs> The next question. Yeah. Ah, okay, I thought we were wrapping it up. I'm sorry. Okay, so the next question would be: uh, since you already have your your new single out, you've already wet your feet with the Grammys. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is the next thing that you have on your uh, agenda right now? The next thing is new album. I like to produce new material since I I am a songwriter. I'm always writing music. And I'm always looking to produce, and I like I like to produce albums with new music. That's something that's fresh. So right now we're putting together the next selection of songs and we're going to start putting together the production team. I like to also integrate different people and hopefully by June, which is the deadline for submission, have new material to submit. Nice. That's my next goal. That's what we're working on right now. And promoting the video. So it's, it's like a double thing. You have to promote what you just did. And start working on anyone right away. It's like a mountain pass. One, one hit with many legs. There's no like time to waste, yes. Definitely, I understand. Uh, What's like you were saying? Uh, you're getting ready to produce. What's one thing that gives you creativity? Like one thing that you can say, I'd like to do this, and it sparks creativity. Uh, some people like going into nature. Some people like listening to music. Like, like inspiration. Like an inspiration, like to spark or like get that creativity to make you seem like you know what I like this look. 
or for this album, maybe it might not be the same for the next album, but what inspires you to get that new look for that new album or that new song that you're working on? Well, as far as the music, you know, inspiration can come from anywhere. Uh, it, it's, it's funny, but I've actually written quite a few songs while I was running. I, I like to go, I'm a runner, I like to go for long 10, 12 mile runs, and sometimes in the middle of a run, I'll think of something. I'll stop and I'll record it on my phone, and then I'll visit it back at home, and I'll, I'll then I'll, I'll use it on the piano, guitar, try to you know give it a little bit more shape. But creativity can come at any time. I use stories that are my personal experience, stories that are friends, and stories that I make up that are not belonging to anybody. But <laughs> it could happen. No, no, no. So uh, creativity, there's no set place. It comes from everywhere. Like Inspiration it. comes from everywhere and anywhere. And do you write and sing songs in both English and Spanish, or do you have a preference? Well, actually, most most of the music is in Spanish, but I am not at all opposed to English. You know, English is uh, it's, it's a language that musically is very rich too. Like I said, Beatles, Bee Gees. So right now, with Spanish, you know, the area the area where we live, the culture, the culture uh, embraces a lot of Spanish music. But I'm not opposed to to doing English or even. Maybe for the next album, do something where it is very common to do English. I mean, Spanish, and then throw in some English stuff. Do a multi language Spanish. Spanish <laughs> multi language song. There you go. You're changing the game there. <laughs> and um, where do you see yourself in the future? Five years, ten years from now, what are your future dreams and goals? Well, my future goals are to keep creating music. That's what I love to do. That's why I started this. I started songwriting. Everything else that has come after that, the videos, the promotions, the pictures, all that, is all derivative of the, the foundation, which is songwriting. I love to sit in the piano or the guitar and write a song. So that, I hope to continue to write. I hope to continue to put songs that people like, and share them, and spread my music to as much people as possible. As many people awesome. as possible. And lastly, for the viewers uh, who want to follow in your footsteps, what advice would you give them? Prepare yourself. Be prepared. Make sure you have a, a music background that is going to be sufficient for what you want to do. So if you like songwriting, study some of the good songwriters. Look at some of the good lyrics. If you I mean, like anything, if you like to dance, look at the great dancers. Uh, so prepare yourself and a lot of perseverance, a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Any closing message to well, wrap up? Thank you for inviting me to your show. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here and thank you to all your audience that, that follows your show. And hopefully we can do this next time. Bring some new material. Thank you so much. We wish you the best in your career. Thank you very much. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Pleasure. 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 Thank, thank you. And thank you, Tony, for being my guest co-host. Thank today. you. Anything Appreciate else you want to say? Well, it was an awesome interview. Uh, I wish you luck and hopefully this show flourishes and it is flourishing already in the valley and it's not only flourishing but it's giving a light to the artists down here because most people overlook the Rio Grande Valley they don't, they don't think like oh hey it's the valley there's no talent but in mm -hmm. the valley there's talent not only on and, and on many aspects there's talent on many aspects like mm -hmm. there's uh, music there's actors there's there's lifters weightlifters have won many championships like there's many talent down mm -hmm. here and one of my goals is I mean, most people are like, since I'm an actor, most people are like, well, why are you not in L.A.? I mean, one of my goals is to bring L.A. down here to us, you know, mm -hmm. to the valley, make the valley light up, yeah. you know? So that's one of my goals down here to work as well. And yeah, if talent and I know there's stay talent, here, it's going to be more successful. Now we're going to grow our city. That's the whole point, to grow. Not only grow ourselves as artists, but to grow where we are. That way more artists can come out as well. You know? That's true. Very true. A, lot of, a lot of people that I collaborate with, the people that do my videos, some people that do the music, musicians, mm -hmm. are from here. And, you know, I'm sure we know that we have great musicians like the Mona Yala and Bobby Pulido, people that are yes. from here. So a Bobby lot Pulido of has been on our show. So, there you go. <laughs> a lot of talent here in the valley. Yeah, a lot of talent. Well, thank you once again to both of you. This was Talk the Talk, Rio Grande Valley Star, Season 4. I'm Alex Arabia. Until next time.